What's Just your reaction? Just rejoice at that news and congratulate our forces and the Marines. Are we good? good night. All the seals and couplings in the refueling probe, which pokes, pokes out from the front of the nose, they had all dried up and perished. And every time we tried to make contact with the Victor tanker, the fuel would escape from the front of the probe. It became clear within the first few days of the Argentine invasion that their recovery of the Falklands would entail a major military operation, spearheaded by the RAF. For the heavy bombing roles, there was only one aircraft which could perform the job, the Vulcan bomber. And our main job was to fly at about 20, 25,000 feet, and the radar navigator would map the ocean as looking for ships and mark them down on a grid, which he would transmit openly. Our submarines would pick up the information, and they knew where our ships were, and therefore the anything left was the enemy shipping. It occupied one long and very sweaty weekend in October 1962 and today it's simply referred to as the Cuba Missile Crisis and it was the time when we probably came closest to global nuclear war. Down the side, like a, a single connector, a shoot type connector and trying to get to sleep sometimes was very difficult. Our aim would be to get four Vulcans airborne in about a minute and 40 seconds. So from stone cold, in other words, nothing running, to actually getting airborne, we would do it in about a minute and 40 seconds. The armorer too can observe that the bombs are suspended absolutely evenly without any upset in balance. Structurally, the B-2 is very similar to a Mark I. Nose, fuse large, thin, and same. And the arrangement of the engines. One thing that um, distinguishes the Mark II is the bigger wingspan. 